Bonjour, comment ça va? Hello, how are you? This is Allison. And no, I don't know French at all. <laughs> I wish I was. No, I don't really, but anyway, it's fun to play around, isn't it? Um, I play around with Duolingo, do you? <laughs> do I need to know how to speak it? No. Anyway, well, this is Allison. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Acting a little silly and crazy here. Um, I don't have any fabulous fancy intros. I just like to get right into it, don't you? Well, let me ask you this. I'm the person that when I watch videos, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Yes, I do a lot. I would say that they have these wonderful edited videos. They have a wonderful intro, but I've watched that intro with every video. And as wonderful as it is, I don't know why we have to have intros. I just want, well, I guess if you had to introduce your family or whatever, I just want to jump right into it. Are you like me? I skip the intro. I do. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> why are you here? Why are you here? Why am I here? Okay. I'm here because I thought, you know what? The big thrifter that I am, it is time to show you a thrifting haul. And I am a Francophile. I confess, I'm a Francophile. Are you? And I love French decor. Now, as you know, there's different styles of French decor. There is uh, your French country. That's very popular. There is your French, more French provincial style. There is, um, you know, the south of France, more coastal look. Then your traditional French style. So, um, I love all that, but I'll probably say some of my favorite is the south of France, that more tropical look. Anyway, I like to pick up little bits of what I would call French decor here and there when I'm out thrifting and put it on my eBay store. And well, you know, I think other people like it too. Honestly, I just didn't think that it would be that popular. People be interested. Um, it's hard to find the really good stuff. There's a lot of reproduction French home decor. And I have decided I just pick up what I like. And if you like it, hooray. Um, I like, I think that people that are eBay resellers, you have to have a good eye for things. Fortunately, I have a couple things in my favor. Number one, I'm old. So I know what stuff is when it's, if it's truly vintage or antique. When those younger people just go right by because they don't have a clue what it is or its value. The other thing is, so because we do vintage, the other thing is, um, I think it's for style, and if you have a love for um, design, which I do, and interior design, you know, interior, home interior, decorating, and all of that. Um, and for the years of just reading and seeing things like I have, I mean, I would love to be able to have the money to travel and really thrift. Um, I would love to be able to get into different specialities, niches for people. But I think if you can find things that you're looking for, let's say that you're trying to decorate your home, whatever it may be, style of clothes, find those eBay resellers that have that eye, that they sell particular things, or you just love their aesthetic. Um, so I follow some of the YouTubers that are resellers and um, not necessarily that they're selling absolutely fabulous things, but because their aesthetic is a particular look, it works. And though they get a following for that. So you might like my aesthetic, you might not. But anyway, let's get into it. I want to show you items I have things listed in the eBay store that say Francophiles. 
thought that might attract y'all real quickly. So look under my Francophile category of our store. Now, of course, I have everything linked below if you're interested in these items. Now, I have a portion of it that is listed and unfortunately a portion that is not. So just bear with me as soon as I can get things listed. I'll put the link below. But what you need to do is follow our store. Kick the little thingy to follow our store if you like what we have. Um, particularly if you're looking for vintage. Uh, my husband does railroading. He has a lot of expertise knowledge in railroading, model railroading uh, records. My husband had a career in um, broadcasting, went to radio school, so he knows a lot about records and that type of thing. Um, my thing is a home decor and clothing. I have been moving out of some of the clothing, but uh, doing more of the home decor. And also, I'm an artist. I went to art school, attended art school in Ringling uh, College of Art and Design in Sarasota. So, I love to look for good pieces of art and inexpensive pieces that are still something that would work in a home. Um, I'll do a video on art one time. Um, when I get stuff, for, uh, it sells quickly. It does. You, again, you just have to have the eye for certain pieces. So I want to go ahead and show you what I have. It's all things French. So how about that? Okay. The first thing I want to go ahead and show you. Now, this is more of a French provincial style, I would say. And... Um, I found these two little shelves at a I go to estate sales. So a lot of these things are old. I mean, very old. But I've got these wonderful shelves. I'm going to show you close up. Now, these are not, per you will see some imperfections. You will definitely, but look at that pattern on top. The gold. Look at the styling of these. How unique are these? I like the you know chipped kind of um oh it starts with a d you know what i'm trying to say it'll come to me anyway distressed yes okay here's the back of these so these go right on your wall like so and here's a pair of them oh again look at that pattern I've not seen anything like this. So I've got this, a woman apparently, she loved all things French too. And uh, they had an estate sale and I picked those up from her. Um, I, this is a, in a, in a, this is a print, French print. Now, I want to say this. I do get a lot of things that are old, stained, um, yellowed. However, a lot of people don't mind that. If you get prints like this and you don't mind bright white paper and the whole thing, this is very, very old paper on the back. With the hook, you can see. This is old. The reason I like this not only her costume, she's holding a parrot right here. I guess that's a parrot. Um, this is so cool. It is very yellowed, very yellowed. Wood frame, simple. It says costume decor and the reign of Louis the 16th. So if you are looking for French decor, um, decor, you know, artwork on prints on your wall, you might be interested in this piece. I'm going to try to see if I can, difficult to get up close with it, especially with the glass and the mirror. I mean, you know how it reflects. Okay, so moving along, I also have a plaque, and I've had a lot of interest on this one on eBay. Square plaque, fleur de lis. Put your nail there. I mean, you know, how you hang it up. This is the edge. It's just, you know, press board. 
nothing fancy but the neat thing about it, it kind of has a beveled edge right here but I love this black and cream it has a crackled look to it in the background it's crackled but that is so neat isn't it I love this piece I love it love it love it I've sold um three other plaques they were rectangle plaques and they were in burgundy, mostly deep colors, burgundy and whatnot, and sold those very quickly. So you might like this piece. This one was unusual to me than some of the things I've been seeing. Okay, what else do I have? I also have... So isn't this wonderful? This is just a metal piece. It's rusted. So again, this is very aged. It's been used outside probably on someone's porch or house. I got this at a state sale. It has a hole in the back right there where you can hang it up. The um, handle is rusted. I try to show everything. So it's very rough, scratchy, rusty looking. But I love this piece. Oh my goodness, on the wall. You know, you could put flowers if you wanted to or anything um, anything you wanted to do with it. Outside, inside, um, a front porch, you know. So I just love that piece. I love the color. What I thought would be really cool with that too is I have this basket. Now, I would not say this is a French basket, but I love this. This is from Opal House um, Inspired Objects Palm Leaf Storage Basket. There's the inside two handles look at that color in this shape oh is it that cute or what I mean you could use this as a little handbag but can you imagine the two of these together you know oh it's very lightweight so I'll have that listed also those things um mugs I love mugs look at the horse isn't it cool and there's the French words le, le cheval So it's a horse on both sides and this was Taylor and something another 1979 and I can't make out the name. I love this mug. I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, if you're looking for things like this, I'll have that listed. And what else do I have? I have another plaque. This is in a bathroom or um, bath uh, anywhere, really. An office, if you have a personal office. I found this estate sale, and this is a French tapestry. It's just the square, the raw edges you'll see in the back of it is stamped France. There's all the color in the back. Their costumes, her dress is in purple and his is in a, um, I don't know, I guess a wine shade. Now, I'm trying to give you a comparison. Here's my head. <laughs> I have a very large head so maybe that will help but I don't know whatever project you would have this is not real large this is about seven by seven maybe six by six seven by seven I'm guessing but somebody will want that and do something with it I know I have another piece of fabric I've been debating whether to keep this one for myself. So this is a remnant I picked up with the Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. I can't even talk today. All the French words on there, Paris and whatnot. So this is a long rectangle piece that is only about... I'm saying about 22 inches wide. It looks wider in the camera than it actually is. I'm saying maybe 20 inches, 20, 22 inches wide. I haven't measured it yet. However, 
great piece. It's uh, canvas, you know, not the heavy canvas, but just regular, not duck canvas or anything like that. Okay, so let's move on. Now, I have also a little copper pot. This is so cute, you guys. Look at this. Um, there's the legs. The kettle sits on the three legs. I better move over here. I'm losing my light. It has, you can see the green patina under there from the copper. Isn't that cool? Inside the bowl. So this is like a little mini cauldron pot, I guess you would call it. Let me put it in my hand. And you could get a good judge of how big that is. Cool. I think it's cool. My hair. Okie dokie. Also have... This is a distressed look. Isn't that kind of neat? Um, candle holder. The inside is really rough. This is old metal. It has spike that's very sharp that your um, candle sits on. This would be great to put on a bookshelf. So anything like that. I love Wee oui, Wee oui. Mademoiselle. Madame. Um, I've act up, picked up some French books. I have listed on my eBay store some books I have enjoyed reading. I've shown them in another vid video. They haven't sold. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show them again in case you haven't seen. This author, I absolutely love her work, Elizabeth Baer. And... Um, She met a French man, married one, lived over in France, and uh, wrote these books. I have The Picnic in Provence and Lunch in Paris. Now, her stories are wonderful, and this is about her life there and who they meet, how they live, yada, 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 the French culture. Um, wonderful, wonderful books. The neat thing about her books is she includes recipes in her books. Now I haven't tried any of the recipes because we basically do um, a keto low carb diet, but she has the recipes that are in here. So I have two of her books for sale. I have, uh, I really enjoyed this one, French Lessons, Adventures with Night Fork and Corkscrew. There's the author. I really enjoyed this one awful lot. So, um, have you read Little French Bistro yet? This was a popular book with Nina George. Uh, the other one is Little Paris book sh Bookshop. So, those, those are listed. I also have some French, a French cookbook. Now, this is not a, you know, fancy name or anything. It was just something I found in a bookstore. And um, I, actually, my husband found it. I thought, oh, I'm going to pick it up. France and its Cuisine. This is a very large book. There's the Eiffel Tower on the back. Uh, let me show you some of the pictures. Quiche Lorraine. So it has great, great photography. It has the recipe and then uh, other you know, landscape photography in there. Let's just turn a couple of these. Chicken stew. So this is just full, it's just recipes. It's just, just recipes. So, I've got this book. Um, it's large. Now, I also have two of these. One of them, um, I've got three of these textbooks. If you're learning French, if you are homeschooling kids, these might be helpful. One of these is the Teachers of uh, Extended Teachers Edition. 
student book. So I have two of those. I will sell these two, Teacher's Edition and the Student, probably as a set. Um, I also have another French textbook. And these are in excellent condition. Oh, now I bought this book and it had tape all over it. And um, I really debated it. It sat a long time. I paid too much for it but I don't know why I'm just such a sucker sometimes um, this is the history of France and this is a book for for children it is large it is very tall it is taped I love the um, color the illustrations <laughs> Charlemagne governs his empire. Okay. This is all in French. The Revolutionary's Journey. And it's so cool. This book, I'm trying to remember if I actually knew um, the age of this. It's seen in here. Look at the front color <laughs> cover. <gasps> the inside page. Isn't that wonderful? La histoire of France. Um, which I know I'm not pronouncing any of this correctly. Okay. Anyway, I don't see a date on this, but I've got to do some more research. I love that. Love, 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 love. Isn't it weird what just trips you trigger? It is, isn't it? That I found another very old book. This is Le Petite, Le Petite France. And um, I'm trying to think how old this book is. hope I'm not boring you. Copy, copyright 1943. The cover is about to go. Here is the back. So this is another French children's book. Um, I have another French book. This is French, uh, France, The Outsider. Uh, it is all, oh no, it's not all French. No, this is, this is English. Anyway. What else do I have for you? I have also for you a copper vessel I have listed on our um, Francophile page with brass handles, curved bottom somewhat. You can see those bird shaped holes and the one in the center, and then this lid opens up. So, this is an incense burner, I am told. I've had a lot of views on this on eBay. Surprise. When I first got it, I didn't have any clue what it was, really. Okay, I also have a box. It is a wine box that came from California, but the wine is produced in France, I guess distributed in California. It is the White um, Bergerac Wine 2006. It is a wooden box. Fairly heavy. Now, I'm trying to decide whether I'll sell this piece or keep it. Because when things are really heavy, a lot of times people don't see the value in the item because the shipping is so much, and I totally get that. So, I think that is everything that I have right now that I have in our Francophile category in our eBay store. Um, I was trying to just quickly remember if there's anything else that I'm not thinking of. Um, oh, yeah. I have this pillow. Isn't that cute? Fleur de lis on the front. This is embroidered on there. And the beauty of this has gold, the gold piping, 
it's solid on the I have washed this see look what you can do there's the pillow zipper so you can take this cover off as often as you like and wash it I like to be able to wash my fabrics don't you that is cute for your bed chair whatever so I have that um I think that's it so sorry if I bored you today but anyway that's things I have all things French and if you love things French and your home decor I want to tell you I'll post below there is a channel called um, Parisian Farm Girl and her name is Angela and she lives up in Door County and she has redone an older home she and her husband and they have several kids they homeschool but uh they also have just lovely gardens and she loves all things french and has done her home in that style and i'll enjoy watching her she's a lovely lovely person and she's always showing updates what she's decorating what she's doing in her gardens what she's cooking fixing what she's thrifted um, her home decor she does tours of her home so on youtube so i will put down below for you her channel if you're not familiar with it you can um, see it also i have put in one of the other videos uh terry gg she's about my age and she, uh, she has she has a love for france also she and her husband go often and she has written a book um and also she has several videos that she's done on her trips to france so those are two youtubers that i enjoy and i think that's everything thank you for hanging in there with me and i hope you have you do, are doing well through all of this i mean i think we're all just stressed out to the max if you know what i mean we're trying to keep it together aren't we <laughs> the best we can what we got so you take care and i will be back soon with some more thrifting items thank you for hanging in there with me take care bye bye